Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have the last video to my sticker storage collection and this is what I've been so excited to show you all. I finally received these sticker dividers so I'll show you that in a minute but to start off um, I'm going to show you my new sticker storage and so you guys if you have seen my other videos you know that I store all my stickers in these mini binders that can be found at Target and I mostly get mine at Target but I'm sure you can find them at other stores as well but then I did mention that I sort of found a new sticker storage so I'm hoping this works out for me but I did go to my local craft store and bought some picture boxes or some shoe boxes and they were having a deal, so these were actually $2.99, which is a good deal, obviously. I chose these black and white ones. So the top has black and white stripes, as you can see, and it says pretty things inside. And I thought this was really cute, and the box is actually just black. It's just one of those boxes that you store pictures in, or you can put your shoes in. Then, these dividers actually fit these boxes. These dividers are from One Papery Way and these are specifically made for sticker storage and the photo box. I think these dimensions actually fit the Michaels storage box perfectly. That's what it said in the description. But because I don't have a Michaels here, I just went to my local craft store and picked up these shoe boxes in hopes that they would fit. And they do. So let's just get right into the video I can't wait to show you so like I said these dividers are from one papery way on Etsy I'm not even sure how I found her shop but I did and I'm so happy that I did because she offers a variety of items in her shop I specifically wanted these because I needed a new sticker storage this just has her logo on the front and Let's open it up. I ordered two sets and I believe one set is $9.99 and it comes with six uh, picture box dividers. So I ordered two so now I have a total of 12. And I was thinking that I could do six and six. Six of these for my kids and six of them for like my functional items but we shall see because I'm not too sure how I want to sort of set this up. You can totally make these at home but I don't have the time for that and I don't have a laminator. I thought just buying these would be perfect. She has so many designs but I I wanted these like beautiful jewelry. It's like a purple, pink, blue, sort of a gradient. So I love these and I thought that they would go really well with the black and white picture box. These come with blank labels for you to write in at the top. She did forget to send them to me so I messaged her and she said she would send them to me um because I told her I would place another order. I'm pretty sure that I need more of these dividers. We have the six here and I'm just gonna put these six down in there and I think we're gonna do my kits first because I have more kits than functional items so I'm just gonna start taking kits and sort of organizing them. I haven't organized them yet and I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna organize them by season so because I only have six dividers, I think I'm going to do winter, spring, summer, fall. So that's already four. And then I think I'm going to do a tab for personal kits, another tab for the current month. Just for now because I only have six. I'm going to start off with these kits that I have just lying out right now. So I have some Crest Press kits here. I think this would be 
perfect for the springtime. So we're going to do spring. This is definitely a fall kit. Um, I'm going to move these. So I'm going to do this and um, speed this process up. camera died earlier so what I did was I continued to sort all my kits we have six piles here this very first pile here are gonna be under the tab for whenever so to me these kits aren't really seasonal or like month specific we just have like a variety of kits that I could use all year around and this is gonna be my any time of the year tab so that's one section the next section is the personal kit these are where all my personal kits are going to be placed yeah we just have all my personal kits in there so that's another stack this stack right here are the fall and autumn kits so to me these are best for the fall time and we have a bunch of kits in here. The biggest stack is this stack right here and these are what I consider my spring kits. We have a lot of florals, um, pastels, just anything you can think of. These are my spring kits. And then we have the winter kits slash Christmas kits. So I have all Christmas kits and winter kits in here. So like winter meaning like January. I think these would be perfect for the month of January. We have this winter kit I just hauled. We have Christmas kits. This hasn't been featured yet but that's a kit we also have this kit so all my Christmas and winter kits are under the winter section and last but not least we have the summer section so these are what I think should be under the summer tab we have this like carnival kit because the carnival comes in the summer we have this June kit this beach kit yeah, just everything I think is summer related in here. So that is all the kits and let's set it up. I have my dividers. I think I'm going to do my personal kits here first just because they are smaller sheets and I think they should go in the front. So we're going to put down all these personal kits. So that's my first tab. The second tab, putting these down in here. Next is springtime. This is the largest stack we have. 
So I'm putting those down. I'm hoping that they fit perfectly, but it looks like they do. The larger kits that I'm like afraid that won't fit are like Thumbprints Co. and Nicole Alexia Designs, but they seem to fit perfectly. And then I'm going to put down the summer kits. So I'm going to put that down in there. And then fall kits. Last section is the everyday kits. So we're going to put this in here. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm going to push it back so that it doesn't fall forward and it has something to lean on. So this is my kit collection. I love it. It looks really good. So, like, I can totally just be like, okay, um, I need a summer kit. So, summer, we are looking for a summer kit. I love this so much. Let me show you guys from the front so that you could see it this is from the front end of this sticker storage so again we have personal kits in the front winter kits and christmas kits we have spring kits um summer kits fall kits and then we have whenever kits so this is my sticker kit storage. I do have these six, six storage tabs left over, but I'm going to be using these for my functional stickers. But I was sort of going through my functional stickers, and I realized that I didn't have enough of these to film a storage video because I have so many, not so many, but I just have a lot of different categories for functional stickers so I'm gonna order more dividers and when those come in then I'll set up my functional stickers on camera for you all but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video this gives you another idea for a sticker storage option other than binders I'm hoping this works out for me and because I didn't save like the sleeves when I would put these in my mini binders now I'm gonna save the sleeves but I have started to do that like for like the newest kits that I've received in the mail I've saved the sleeves for them so that I just keep them together and keep them safe and sound but I hope you guys enjoyed this part four to my sticker storage collection videos and I will see you guys in my next one bye